Hi everyone, I'm Luca Gibelli, CEO of Scalable, and we do open source object storage. So before starting Scalable, we're working on ClamEV. We are the founders of ClamEV, uh, the leading open source antivirus solution for Unix. Uh, ClamEV was acquired by Sourcefire in 2007 and later acquired by Cisco. So now ClamEV is a, a Cisco product. Um, Right now, we are working on uh, distributed object storage. Uh, it's open source too, because we love open source. Uh, we received the seed investment from Sunstone Capital, a leading VC firm from Denmark, very active in the open source world. So how did we move from uh, antivirus, so from the security industry to storage? Well, while we were working for ClamEV, one of the biggest challenges that we faced was to store large amounts of objects, of file and our storage was never big enough. So we started with uh, something like a NetApp with something like 40 terabytes and we easily filled all the shelves of a label. So the lesson learned from KMV is that maybe a storage or a network is a, not exactly what you need if you just need to store large amounts of data which is unstructured. So we took one step back and we looked at the existing solution for object storage and we found that uh, none of them was really uh, what we needed. So when you consider the switch from a traditional storage, like a storage or a network, to an object storage, you have to keep in mind the CAP theorem. The CAP theorem says that you can only, you can only have two of the things in this graph. So when you go for block storage or file system storage, traditional file system storage, you get uh, consistency and availability. And this is something that in some cases you need, in some cases you don't need. So you have to identify your needs very well before choosing which way to go. With object storage, you get uh, only availability and partitioning, which means that it is, will keep working even if the cluster is not all up and running, and it will always serve data. So in our case, object storage satisfied exactly our needed. Uh, you should choose object storage whenever you need scalability, durability, and uh, you want to keep your cost low. So it's perfect for storing large amounts of media files, documents, backups, log files. Uh, the switch from uh, uh, traditional storage, structured storage to unstructured storage is hard. It's not, it doesn't come for free. So when you use block storage, you just have, uh, you can just use the C operating system syscalls and it's very easy. You just use it as a regular file system. When you use object storage, instead you are limited to four operation. Put, get, list, delete. There is no append, there is no locking. So what we did to solve this problem is to add a new, some new paradigm to object storage to fix what is missing and to make the transition easier from uh, structured storage to unstructured storage. So the SX protocol improves on traditional object storage like uh, S3 in the sense that integrates the best of three worlds, not just S3, so not just the RESTful interface, but also uh, RSync, so you never transfer the same data twice, and also uh, you get um, uh, torrent-like performance, I mean, uh, transfer in parallel from multiple hosts. So with SX, you uh, if you try to upload a file which has some blocks repeated inside the file, these blocks get deduped before they are uploaded to the remote storage. Also, you get the advantage that if a part of that file is already in the storage, you never upload it again. So, what Scalable does to fix the issues with, uh, um, with uh, the transition from structured storage to unstructured storage? Well, first of all, we solved the problem on not being able to append a file with the duplication. So if you would just want to append to a file, you just re-upload the entire file, but the part of the file that is already there never gets re-uploaded. You don't have locking, so we implemented the revisions. This way, if you overwrite a file by accident, because there was no locking while you were writing, you can still switch back to an old version of the file. And the revisions take no space on the server, because they are deduplicated, right? So 
My invite to you is to try Scalable SX. Uh, it's available for free on our website. It's open source, GPL license. You can deploy it with a single command. And uh, I'm sure that uh, you will find that uh, it, it's uh, the most reliable and the, most e the easiest way to build your own object storage. Our competitors don't have the duplication. Our competitors only support the S3 protocol. So uh, you, you will find that you have many, th this solves many issues that we will face when moving from structural storage to unstructured storage. Thank you for your attention. Oh, and if you have any questions, I will be around for an open space, so I invite you to join me for the open space. I will, I will be happy to help you with any question you might have around object storage or scalable specifically. Thank you.